correct translation in English, well, it means way. We don't really use the word way the way Spanish people do, but it means the pathway, the, the roadway. Is it is it like the Buddhist word, the way? Are you familiar with that? Yeah, I don't think it's exactly like the Buddhist use of the word. Um, I think it's more like if you think of Old English, or if you think, like some people live on, um, you know, Chrysanthemum Way. Mm -hmm. like that's a street. Okay. So it's like that use. So, so we just saw a great, we had a great um, viewing tonight of Walking the Camino, which is a gorgeous film that really gets into the heart of why pilgrims walk this ancient road and what they gain from it, what they hope for, and what actually comes to them, what the actual fruits are. Um, can you talk a little bit about what started you on the pathway of recording what's going on on the Camino? Well, I had nothing to do with that part. <laughs> okay. I was just a very lucky person who knew the person who made that decision, and that's Lydia B. Smith. Okay. She decided to make a film about the Camino. Okay. So, in the film, in the film Walking the Camino, yes. you're in the film yes. walking your first Camino. Yes. <laughs> it gets very real. It is a documentary. Um, if I could have acted better, I would have, but it's, it was just real life, and she was able to capture six various stories of people who were walking the Camino. And the cinematography is gorgeous. Outstanding. But maybe, but maybe a little... Pedro Valenzuela. <laughs> okay, what's his name again? Pedro Valenzuela was the main DP, and Josh Miller also was a DP. Okay. So, we were here tonight though, we're raising money for your next film. Yes, Phil's Camino. Phil's Camino. Phil's Camino is my new baby and I love this film. I love this film. It's, uh, it's a really, even the title, Phil's Camino, has so many layers to it. I'm making a short film, uh, Phil's Camino, about a man with stage four cancer. He dreams of walking the Camino, but because he goes for his chemo treatments every two weeks, it doesn't seem like it's going to happen for him. So he does the next best thing. He makes his own Camino in his backyard, and he figures out a 0.88 kilometer loop around his backyard, and he walks it every day until he gets into Santiago. He keeps track on a map of Spain. Every time he walks a loop, or two loops, or three loops, he'll go into his house afterwards and record on the map of Spain where he would be if he had been walking those that mileage That's amazing. on the Camino. Yeah. And so he made it all the way into Santiago de Compostela. How, how long did he walk to get there? Six months. Six months. And he never left his backyard. But all along the way, he was learning the names of the towns and pronouncing them. and imagining what it would be like. It's a pretty amazing story. And then my understanding is he finally gets to go. You know, it's just the most miraculous thing. When he makes his Camino, he doesn't know what's going to happen. And he even had a friend come and level out this pathway because he figured if things got bad for him and he couldn't walk, he could ride his tractor. Huh. But the opposite happens. He got stronger and stronger and stronger until the point where he felt so strong and he was given a clean scan from his doctors and they said you can have a chemo holiday you can take one treatment off so instead of having to go every two weeks now he had 28 days did, did he do it he bought a ticket to spain and he told me and i said now will you let me make a movie about <laughs> you and he said okay maybe this is a good story okay Okay, so that's what we're waiting to see. Yes. Now, do you have a Kickstarter? <laughs> we did an Indiegogo to okay. shoot the film. And ever since then, we have a website, www.fillscamino.com. And you can make donations there. And we even have some gifts for you in case um, if you donate at certain levels. And we've just, people are very drawn to this um, film. I think the subject is sadly very close to a lot of our lives. I've had people call me and 
write me letters and donate money because they say, yeah, I had cancer and I walked the Camino too. I, he's dedicating... He um, dedicated his Camino to people who have terminal illness. It's, yeah, it's very moving and wonderful, yeah. generous thing to do. Yeah. So so tell me a little bit, that sounds like a great project. Yeah. Why do you think people are so interested in this idea of the Camino, the well, pilgrimage, the way? You know, I think when people feel called to do the Camino, there's some longing in their heart, in their soul, for simplicity, for um, a closer walk with the one who made them. Uh, an exploration of their spirituality although that is absolutely not true for everyone many people are atheist agnostic they just are drawn to the idea of walking this ancient pathway that's been around for hundreds and hundreds of years that people have been walking all the all this time and it, you get to really know the culture you get to eat the food and see the beautiful beautiful countryside of northern Spain. Mm -hmm. So I think there is a longing for spirituality and for those who don't practice or don't feel a spiritual call, there's just a longing for simplicity and for nature and for seeing things as they maybe used to be. Hmm. The idea of not, you know, unplugging, not having a to-do list. Your to-do list is basically walk and eat. Sounds simple. Yeah. Very simple. Simple but harder than you think. <laughs> yeah. This is simple but harder than you think. Well, I wish you well on thank your you project so much. and thank you for talking with me. It's and my this pleasure. is Annie O'Neill talking about her new project, Phil's Camino. We're at the Logan Theater yeah. in Chicago. Yay. And where are you next? Where are you going to be well, next? Well, I'm going back to LA. Um, we're, we've got more editing to do and uh, we have. Um, some other people who want to throw fundraisers for us, I'll go wherever someone wants to throw a fundraiser for us. I will show up. I've been to Breckenridge, Colorado through an amazing Camino, Phil's Camino weekend fundraiser. Um, Chicago's been really supportive. Um, Northern California, Seattle. Phil is from the Seattle area. Oh, good. So we've had really I, great I support. just had a comment here. Someone said, you should periscope the Camino. That's the app. I'm oh. using right now. Interesting. Interesting. Well, per my personal thing is to unplug. So yeah, so I don't carry a phone. You know, honestly, that, but a lot of most people do. There's I see people Facebook their lunches from the Camino all the time. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think that's kind of that seems not very unplugged to me. So I, I I kind of side with you on that. Okay. Well, thank you very much for your time and have a good evening. Thank you. Bye. Bye. -bye.